was going to say Thursday. Oh. Happy New Year! Hello, everybody. Happy New Year and Thursday. Happy New Year and Thursday. Okay. Are you still allowed to say New Year? Is it like the third today? When is when is it enough? I think it's fine. <laughs> Happy New Year, everybody. I am Jenny. I'm Jeremy Craig. I'm we're, Jenny Craig. We're at Copper Bottom. Copper Bottom Craft Distillery here in Holly Hill, Florida. We look blurry. Do we? Mm -hmm. Does anybody else think we look blurry? I don't know. Here, let's spit shine that. Do I, you think I have a dirty lens? Yeah, I do. Saying? Here, talk to these people. Hi. I don't know what to say, you people. No, um, I'm just kidding. What do, what do we do for Christmas? What do we do for the holidays? Oh, we had a really, you're going to just block everybody <laughs> out. They can't see me at all. There we go. Does that look any better, you think? Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, we had a really good holiday, actually. Um, we had a really cool event here. It was Santa's last stop, which was a huge success, I would say. Wouldn't you say? Yes. My hands are filthy. I'm sorry. No, it's fine. All right. I'm used to it. I was dropping barrels, emptying barrels today. Oh, yeah. Check out the Instagram. He did a, a crash landing. No. Just... <laughs> It's a still, soft and gentle landing. It's still there. It was very like stealth. stealth. I was like, are you even moving on the forklift? Because he had the barrel, putting it back like on the barrel rack. And I was like, zooming in, are you moving? Listen, I don't want to drop anything. These things aren't cheap when That's they're the, full. The auto elixir barrel. Yeah, that was even worse because this was the, uh, the barrel that we just got back from auto elixir. And they, they aged one of our meads in it. And, or one of their meads in it, I should say. So I just filled it back up, and the last thing I wanted to do was drop it. That would be bad. Yeah. So it's up on the rack. It's, it's cooking away now. But, yeah, you know, it's, it's a tight rack up there. You got to get it in and, you know, just how, how, do, the, how do the airline people do it? Mm -hmm. I really want to make a dirty joke right here. But Don't I'm do that. <laughs> I, Could I, you see me processing I, it? I was, yeah. I was like... Uh, there's, it's, it's somewhere in there. Anyway, we'll move on. It's in there. It's in there. Um, we had a great time. We went to Jeremy's family's house in Tampa for Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve. Then we did Christmas morning with the girls at our house. Yeah. And then off to my mom's house. She lives here in town, my mom and dad. And we did Christmas with them. The kids are finally old enough to kind of get it. They're so two it and three. It was little fun. girls. Yeah, it was fun. Last year they were a little too young. I don't think they quite understood. They were into it. They were into it. They're into everything. But. Into everything, but also into it. Actually, the two-year-old at my mom's house especially, it was like after seven, eight presents, she's like... I don't even think it was that many. <laughs> I think it was like three. Was she it? Was, she was ready to go to I'm bed. done. I'm done. Count me out. I'm out. So, anyway. All right, well, we thought that this would be a cool time to get together, kick off the new year, Facebook Live, and talk yeah. about maybe some of our favorite moments from this past year. It's 2019, new year. And what we're looking forward to this coming year. Yeah, so go ahead. What do you think? I, when I was thinking about this, I kept coming to some of my favorite events. But I feel like you will probably pick different things than that. We haven't discussed this. We have, as, as usual, usual I, don't know what I don't know what this is even about until about five minutes before. It so. was his idea. Don't believe that. So, so one of the first things that came to mind. <laughs> don't mind that. We have ice. <laughs> One of the first things that came to mind was um, the uh, Riverside Beer Mead and Spirits Festival. Yes. That was, there were a lot of people here, and that yeah. was the first one that we had ever done. I broke a glass. Sorry. Yeah, it sounded like it, and I didn't yeah. want to draw too much attention. He definitely I did. I did. I broke a glass. See, and your mom is watching, and she's going to know yeah. it's that one you of the, broke one of these. It's one of the cute ones that everybody really likes. Yeah, that you get your little sample cocktail in. Oh, well. Sorry, Joanne. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, um, I really liked that day. What do you have? Actually, that was one of mine. Was it? You stole mine. Right off the bat, you shouldn't have let me go first. Yeah. No, that was actually really fun. Um, actually, another couple... Actually, you're right. A lot of really cool events. The... Um, the last one we did at the uh, the Speedway, the Hops and Hoods, was really, really cool. Had a lot of fun out there. Because um, I wasn't there? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was, uh, no, it was a good time anyway. We, are, we had some friends of ours out there. Otto and Tija helped us out and uh, were able to sample a lot of beer and give a lot of samples out of our product. It was a lot of fun. 
I also thought about the wedding. Damien and Tiana. That was fun. Otto and Tisha. Yes. We had like, there were big events. There were a lot of people here and they were really good. We didn't have as many of our events, like our own that we host, but we had a lot of private events this year, which was great. Right, and we didn't have our own events, like the cocktail classes and stuff very much, just because we had so many private events. Yeah, which is good. I mean, I like, but I, I do miss doing the classes like that. Are we doing that again? I was actually thinking about that this morning, if we should do like a Valentine's Day cocktail class. Would anyone even Ooh. be into that? Like a couple's cocktail class. Or maybe we should do it for singles. Ooh, a little mingle, single yeah, and mingle like, cocktail class. Let us like hook one of these, you up. One of these speed dating type deals where you kind of rotate <laughs> tables and or rotate stations. Yeah, that's a great idea. Uh, it just came to me. Like, uh, yeah. hey, you want to squeeze a little lime in my drink? Oh, <laughs> Yeah, that. So that could be kind of cool. We're just we're, we're brainstorming right now. This might not even be a thing. Yeah, it might but, not be a thing. Yeah, but if it, if you want it to be a thing, let us know. Maybe it will be. Yeah, cocktail class for Valentine's Day. Uh, what else? What else did you like from this past year? Uh, this past year, we released two new expressions or products. We had two beer barrel finished rums that we released. One over the summer and one just a couple of weeks ago. Um, both of them, I would say, were a, a huge hit. And uh, yeah, so um, one of those projects we just we just kind of started. We weren't sure how it was going to do or if it was going to go anywhere, and uh, it did. The first one with Tomoka, their Russian Imperial Stout in our in our barrels, sold out very quickly. Um, and then now the one from Wops Hops, their in, in Pier, or I'm sorry, their uh, Coconut Paradiso Ale, still on the shelves. We still got a few bit. We still got a few left. Um, yeah, it's been going crazy too. So. Two really good, uh, you know, really good, I guess it's one line, but it's two different products that came out of it. And that's kind of the cool thing. We're going to release them once or twice a year, and we'll see what comes out of it. And that one, that one's really good. It's just like she was talking about the barrel I just put up. That one's from Mod Elixir. I just put one up from um, uh, Moonrise out in Palm Coast. I've been seeing emails. Animal. I scroll through the emails. I'm not here day to day. That's, that's his job. And uh, I have my own. And so I see the emails come through about you picking up your barrel, you dropping off your barrel, come, you know, like it's fun to see everybody kind of getting into it. All yeah. the breweries, you yeah, know, just emails cool. from them. Yeah, and we like those guys and they we like us. So yeah. we'll keep it up if we can. Like I said, and it seems to be a, a pretty big hit so far. So we're going to keep doing that. Um, what else would you say from this past year? I always have to give a shout out to the News Journal because our best sales days come on the heels of their stories about us, our, their features. Yeah, and that was they actually, really and that kind of goes along with the beer barrel release. The first release we did, um, we actually had a front page story in the paper. Uh, front page on Saturday, no less. So it was really big. Um, it's, the, it's the stupid phone call. Maybe I should put it on. Are we back? We're back. Sorry, Sorry about that. I had a phone call. My guess it was probably a robo call. Jerks. I haven't looked at it, so we'll have to see, but I don't know exactly where we stopped there, but... Uh, a distilling class. Oh, what? a distilling class. Yeah, so it's something we've thought about. Um, we just haven't figured out a good way to do it. Um, that would be really cool, and it's something I, I, I continue to think about, and I think we're going to do it eventually. It's just a matter of coming up with a good way to do it. And You could do like the cute little desks that you sit in and you take notes. Like I don't think people want to. I don't think people want to sit here and take notes. I think they want to actually see and learn how to do it, which is good. Don't you not think that? No, I do. I was. I don't know. I was just trying to be funny. No, I mean, I think I think people actually want to get hands on with it, and that's cool. We can definitely do that. We just got to figure out a good way to do it. So that is something I've been thinking about, and good idea. I've been Our thinking about it for a while. So it'll it'll probably happen at some point, um, but. I gotta, I gotta work my head around it first and see exactly how to do it. Come on, you'd be a great teacher. I don't know about he, all that. He gives a great tour. You all know that. Yeah, I do all right. I do my best. So what else? Yeah, did I, did I, was I talking about the news journal? No, I did. I talk talked about, about the news journal. Yeah, but I talked about it too. Okay. Yeah. All right. So that's a lot about this past year. Yeah, there was more than that, but a lot of really good things happened this year, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. So and continue to grow. That's always a good thing. Yes, that's that's what we get asked. I get asked that a lot. Is like about the growth. Yeah. Do you want to talk about that at all? 
No, we're continuing to grow. It's always a good thing. I mean, month over month here at the distillery, we see all kinds of new people and um, numbers go up every month, which is a good, great thing. Um, October, November, December, huge. Yeah, great. watch out. Great, great, great. Month. Yeah, those those months are, yeah, killing us. <laughs> lots of lots of stuff going on those months, which is great. Between the between the private events and the, just the sales, I mean, everybody coming in, it's a uh, you know Christmas shopping and all that. It's the last quarter is always a good quarter. First quarter, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Here's to hoping. Yeah. Which is a great segue to today, present day. We present are day. January third. We've got some changes. Yes. Listen up. Yeah, we got a few things that we we decided. You know, at New Year, let's try a few different things and and see what we come up with. Um, one thing we're definitely doing, actually we started yesterday, uh, was the extended our tasting room hours. Or, I say tasting room. Tasting room and tour hours, honestly. I mean, if you come in and I'm not super busy with something, we'll definitely go back and uh, give you a tour and, and obviously give you a taste of everything. So right now we're open Wednesday, Thursday, Friday from, uh, from 12 to 7. So a little bit different. We were op only open from 5 to 8 before, now we're open from 12 to 7. Um, gives people a little bit of extra time. We heard, you know, we heard from a lot of people that said, you know, you guys, we could never catch you when you're open. I understand that. We you hear, hear you. All the time. We hear you. So we're opening up a little earlier. Um, and it's Wednesday through Saturday, noon to Saturday. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. Wednesday, Wednesday through Friday is the kind of the new thing. Saturday is also going to be noon to seven as well. Um, so yeah. He's going to get home a little earlier to help with bedtime because, as I mentioned, we have got a two and a three year old. That's really the reason behind it. <laughs> Honestly. Ah! <laughs> How yeah. many times a week do I say, this is my least favorite time of day? Always. Always. It's a lot. Parents out there, y'all know, bedtime. Yeah. Woo! Yeah, it's fun. Tap me out. Yeah, so we've got a couple other interesting things that we haven't really, um, haven't really taken the, taken the wraps off of yet. So we've... Keep, keep an eye out because we're going to have some cool and interesting things happening this year. Actually, I plan to try to get a few things that we're working on hopefully first quarter or so. So in the first few months, we'll see what we can come up with. So we've got some, ch some more changes coming and that's... Uh, that's it's, pretty vague. It's very vague because that's the way I want it. I think that uh, we should offer it to the people what they would like to see. That's a good idea. What so do you yeah, want? New Year. Oh, okay, and all, every person out there is going to say whiskey. We get it. We hear you. Working on it. Working on it. But as far as the rums go, yeah. What kind of rums would you like to see? What would what would bring you in? Yeah. That sounds good. Yeah, because like I said, we're gonna we're gonna work on a couple of different things and see what we can come up with. Um, but if there's any changes you've seen or that you would like to see us do or things you'd like us to add or merchandise maybe maybe you want different types of t-shirts or something I don't know anything let us know we can maybe come up with something I'm not gonna promise that we're gonna listen to you but actually I'll take that back we'll listen to you I'm just not gonna promise we're gonna do it <laughs> that's pretty good um, what else do we have we've got Thomas McPasta I see you're on here we've got your wedding uh, coming up this summer yeah we've got, we've got some fun events on the schedule and I want to try to do some more of our own this year like you mentioned yeah, we're gonna do some more. Um, we've got some cool, um, cool stuff just going around in the community too. I mean, we've got a new brewery opening up a couple doors down, which we plan on doing a collaboration, uh, some collaborations with Red Pig. So he'll be he'll be open here pretty soon. Um, we've got some other cool things happening around town. So yeah, it's you know one that I've been kicking around, and he doesn't know this. Oh boy. Um, maybe if something happens the first quarter. Okay. And we've got another product or two. We truly have not talked about this. This is brand new. Um, I was thinking. Oh boy. Anticipation. I was thinking it would be fun to do like a highball competition among local bartenders. Ah, oh, that'd be really cool. Actually. Right. Yeah. And so here's how I picture it: like you pay whatever at the door. I don't know what a price would be for a ticket, and we have different restaurants, such as. Such as, you're just going to yes. throw people under the bus here? <laughs> so, so we can get wow. them to commit, because I said it on Facebook Live, it has to be true. So we get different restaurants that already sell our products um, to field their best bartenders for the night. And everybody, you know, each bartender gets to focus on a drink or two using our products. And 
Um, and then we just turn it into a big party. And we have people come in and they get to try all the sample drinks. And like we could, we could do it upstairs, we could do it downstairs, we could do it all throughout the distillery. Doesn't that sound so fun? And call it like the Copper Bottom Highball. And then we turn it into a dance party. Oh. At the end of the night. We just went off the rails here somehow. I'm not exactly sure what happened here, but. More or less a dance party. Like right here in the center of the tasting room. Yeah. Is it, do we have a big enough space for all your dance party? I don't know. It's the we'll first. Find out. It would be the first one. And I was thinking, so like you said, after maybe first quarter when we have a few more products to work with. I'm not saying that we're going to add new products. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm saying there's potential and we're looking at a few things. Well, potentially, I think a highball event could be really fun. Yeah, I think it could be fun. Yeah. Okay. What else? Anything? Uh, is there anything else? Um, my mom is asking for a spiced rum. Mm. And Joey is asking for a cachaca? Okay, cachaca. Cachaca. Yeah, unfortunately, we can't make that. It's okay. made, made in Brazil. Oh, it has to be? It's a Brazilian rum, basically. Yeah. It's, it's its own category, so... It's like tequila. I'd like to make it. I can, but I can't call it that, so... Because tequila has to be made in Mexico. Yeah. know that. Okay. All right. I, I think we got somebody coming in. Because we're actually open right now. We haven't had anybody come in yet, but I think I just saw somebody coming by, so... We might have to end this pretty quick, because I think somebody's coming to the door. Okay. Uh, thanks for tuning in today, you guys. Hopefully... We'll keep rocking and yeah, we'll keep sharing see, it all along. Keep seeing us on Thursdays as long as you guys want to keep watching. I don't know why you would. So <laughs> <laughs> but, but you do. So, okay. Thank you. Am I turning it off or are you turning it I'll off? I'll turn it off. Okay. I feel like we need a remote control. I'm not dancing this time. I'm just going to stand You're not here. not going to dance your way out of this thing? No. Don't make a highball event. Copper bottom highball. Don't make Push for that, okay? Don't, don't make what? Don't make people uncomfortable. <laughs> Making people uncomfortable is what I do. That is. <laughs> All right. Bye now. Bye.